What's up everyone, this is Ranger Liz and welcome to a special episode of Blow That Dough, everyone's favorite Ranger trivia show. This is our Power Morph account special, helping you get some valuable information before you go to the big con. Let's welcome our contestant today. Please introduce yourself. Hello there, heroes. I'm the Orange Ranger. Liz, I am so excited to be here. Good to have you. Now, here are the rules. I'm going to ask you 10 questions. They can all be answered within Ranger Liz's Power Morphicon prep series. You need to get eight of them right. Three strikes, you're out, buddy. Ooh, eight out of 10, huh? That's a lot, but I think I can do it. But by the way, what does blow that dough mean? There's a simple explanation for that. Let's get it going with question one. When preparing for a convention like Power Morphicon, what is the very first thing you should do? Hmm. Going to a place like California, I would think it's maybe buy sunscreen? But I don't know if I can afford it, how much I can spend on it. That's it! Set a budget. Let's take a look. Number one. First thing you can do right now, and it takes just some internet searching, okay? Set a budget. Figure out right now about how much is your room and board gonna cost you? About how much is your transportation gonna cost you? Figure out what's the cost of the ticket to go. That is correct, you are on the board. Nicely done, let's keep it moving, guys. Question number two, what airport is the closest to the Anaheim Convention Center? Oh, well, that's an easy one. I mean, Anaheim is really close to Los Angeles, so it's got to be LAX. It is John Wayne Airport. That is going to be its call letters SNA. Now this just means I have to actually put it there. Good job, Liz. But it is going to be your closest airport. Now, I know LAX is the big one. LAX is right there. And so a lot of people will just naturally fly there because maybe you'll get the best rate. That's fine. Hey, big airport, sweet. I I like, well, I just like airports in general. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it is actually call letters SNA. That is John Wayne Airport. A little closer, gonna save you on some cab fare if you'd like to fly directly there. Ah, dang it. I knew that one. That's where I'm flying. I just got so excited. I forgot about my travel plans. It's all right. It's all right. Just one strike. Just one strike. Gonna keep it going. That's the right attitude to have. All right, time to get back on the horse. Question number three, what is the official hotel of Power Morphicon? Oh, well, it's a good thing that I was just thinking about my travel plans. That's going to be the very hotel that I'll be staying in, the Hilton Anaheim. Let's take a look. And the hotel this year is Hotel Anaheim. Oh, oh, my session's going to start. Start over. Start over. I pulled them up here because if you go to the official Power Morphicon website, you can get the link to go to Hilton Anaheim. It's a Hilton Anaheim. I don't know what I said actually the first time. But they do have blocks of rooms that are already set for you. I think the last time I mentioned this, they did not have ones for Monday or uh, for Sunday night, but those are all available again. Come again that is right all right smart guy question number four what kind of ticket package do you need if you want to attend power morphicon on friday okay so i'm a little upset that there's no orange ranger level especially the highest level you know there's never been a platinum ranger at least we've seen a couple of orange rangers but i do know that to attend power morphicon on friday you have to have at least red ranger level is that so? Hmm, let's see. Red Ranger is going to be all three days. Keep in mind, Power Morphicon is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The only way to get in on Friday is to have the Red Ranger ticket. Right you are, man! You are on it! You are on it! Question number five. What time does badge pickup start on Friday? Oh, man. There's a lot of different times to remember. Okay, so I want to say the convention starts at 5 on Friday. Uh, people are going to need some time to get there, go through the line. They're going to have to set up. I'm going to say noon. You don't seem very sure, but, but let's take a look. Friday, if you're going to go all three days, you can get there as early as noon. At noon, pick up your badge. 
get all of your stuff and you can take it back to the room, actually look through your stuff. I know I'm gonna be hopefully, you know, doing a video immediately of, hey, here's all the swag stuff, I got my badge, going through all of it, and then the floor opens at four. And yeah, nothing to worry about, you are right, it is 12. Whew! Oh man, I have to admit, Liz, that was a little bit of a guess. All right, that is four correct. You are already halfway to your goal with only one strike, and you know what that means? It's time. Blow that dough. That is right. You stop right now. You can take a great prize, a trip to Power Morphicon. Wow, Power Morphicon, that's so amazing. With all the Ranger actors and all the, the panels, the autographs and all that merch you can get. What an amazing experience that would... Wait a second. I'm already attending Power Morphicon. So, seeing as I don't need the prize, I'm gonna keep on going. All right, he's going, he's going, guys. He's going for it, so let's go. We're gonna go to question number six. What day of Power Morphicon can you meet Austin St. John? Ah, Jason himself, huh? Well, let's see here. I mean, he's a pretty big deal, the OG Red Ranger, right? So, if you have a Ranger actor like that around and he can only be there for one day, it's got to be Saturday, right? Saturday. All right, let's find out. Go to the clip. So, you know what? Yeah, let me just talk about Austin St. John and his whole thing that's happening. He is going to be there, but he's only going to be there on Thursday. So if you would like to, you can meet him. They're going to call it the Day Zero event. If you're already, if you're going to Power Morphicon and you have a ticket, you can get in, I guess what they're saying is uh, bring a printout of your registration info to get access to the event. It's going to be from 6 to 9 p.m. in the Huntington Room, fourth floor. So it will be an actual, he's going to be in a room. If you want to go in and meet him, it's, it is free. You can go in and meet him. If you already have a ticket, he will be signing, doing personal photo ops at the event. Hey, that was a trick question. Thursday is like day zero. You once did a vlog for a con trip, day zero. Fair enough. Carry on. All right, that is two strikes. You gotta run the table with the rest of them, and you gotta get four right in a row. So we're gonna go to question seven. What is the primary location for the Thursday field trip, PMC? Oh, whew. You gave me an easy one to get me back on my feet. Appreciate that. That would be the command center, a.k.a. the house of the book. Easy. All right, let's see. The tour... What does it do? It takes you to the House of Book, which is uh, not normally open to the public place. Based on the one that they did, the last Power at Murphicon, uh, not just the House of Book, but they did go to some other filming locations for Power Rangers, including places like the park, the, well, a lot of places in the park, but they're kind of, they're recognizable, and that's kind of neat to see. Okay, yeah, that one may have been a little easy, but question eight, question eight, it's going to be a 50-50 because it's a true-false Question, all right, is it wiser to bring cash with you at the convention? True or false, bring mostly cash. Hmm. You know, I can't see some people questioning whether or not that would be a good idea. But on the other hand, I can see it making the experience a lot easier. So I'm going to go with true. What does the clip say? Tip number two, cash is king. Remember that, especially if you were traveling. You're going to need to grab a quick Uber or a cab, or maybe you need to pay for parking somewhere. Grabbing a quick bite out to eat, maybe it's going to be a food truck or something that's nearby. Have cash. You can't assume everybody's going to be able to take card or have a square reader. Please have cash, especially for the artist, for the vendors. A lot of them, I mean, they have to pay fees on all of the uh, funds. You know, every time they swipe that card, Square or whoever Visa is going to take a hit of it. So if you want to support uh, your artist, definitely have cash. You can leave it for tips anywhere if you're coming in from somewhere. Not uh, from the United States. We do tipping here. It's kind of strange, but you, you roll with it. It's fine. But please, please, if you have cash, you can definitely uh, maybe do deals or bargains with someone. If you have, like, look, I have $50 cash, yeah, maybe they'll shave off a dollar or two because they know they're not going to lose as much in fees. 
Cash is king, always please try to have some on you. Most conventions will have an ATM located on premise, of course. If you have to pay fees and stuff uh, on things like that, you probably want to avoid those. I'm not saying walk around with mad stacks or anything. I'm just saying make sure you can maybe grab dinner and buy a little piece of art while you're passing by. Oh, that's right, we're gonna keep moving. We're gonna keep moving, let's go. Question number nine, what should you print out to make your convention experience easier? What should you print out? What shouldn't you print out? The answer is everything. To the clip! Oh, and here's, all right, here's tip number five, guys. This is a, just a life pro tip from me. Print out everything. Okay, I can't tell you, you go somewhere, oh, this system's down, we can't find it, or oh, we can't, what was your reservation? Uh, electronics fail. That is correct. Print out everything, guys. Makes your life so much easier when systems go down. And in true game show suspenseful fashion, it all comes down to this, my friend. You have seven correct and two strikes. It all comes down to this question. Let's see. See if you got one all right. When bringing liquids to a convention, like soaps and shampoos that every con goer should use, things you're gonna use in the shower, if you're traveling with them on a plane, how do they have to be stored? Oh man, this is tough. Okay, so I would think in the bottles that they came in, but I remember something about bags. Um, you have to put the liquids into bags. Bags? No, 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 that's not it, that's not it. Um, um, oh, oh, I remember it now. The liquids have to be stored within a clear one-quart bag. Right or wrong, victory or defeat. Let's go to the clip. If you were flying, here's another one. Liquids, you cannot take liquids. You have to have a bag, a one-quart baggie, actually. Let me go get one for you. Boom! One quart baggie! These things have to be able to see through, and with them, all of your liquids have to be able to fit into this. Or if you want to know more, the exact size is whatever, check out, go like to the TSA, go to your actual thing. But this is what all of your liquids have to go in. Travel thing! Now, you can use a baggie, of course, i.e. something like this right here, but you can also buy sets like this. I don't know if I'm going to be using all of these, but you have to take all of your liquids and stuff out if you're carrying them on you on a carry-on and they have to be able to fit in these little bottles. Congratulations! You won! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Okay, this gives you a chance at the bonus Question, okay, when meeting an actor at the con, where should you place your belongings? Woo, bonus question, okay, okay, let me think about this. Wait a minute, did you talk about this? I don't really remember this from the PMC prep series, though I do feel like I've heard it somewhere. <sighs> okay, well, um, being polite and nice to the actors, I don't imagine you should be spreading your shopping and your, and your cosplays and everything and your food all over there. 8 by 10s and their phones. I'm gonna say, down on the floor, out of the way. Let's take a look. We got a guest clip from Sapphire Steffi. So, uh, number three, this is more my personal OCD as someone behind the table. Um, I get it when you come up, you've just got all your shopping, you have your, your binder with your autograph maybe or whatnot, and so you're trying to get your wallet out to pay or you're trying to take a picture with the, with the actor, um, but please keep your stuff off the table. Um, please don't set your backpacks and your purchases and, and, your, and your drinks or your food um, on the table. Please put them on the floor, you know, by your feet. That is correct! Well done! Yes, yes, yes! Winner, 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 winner! So, what do I win? Oh, Owned Ranger, you already won! You're well prepared for Power Morphicon. And isn't that really the greatest package you can get? Oh my god, my ears. Really? That's it? There's no, like, prize? A hug and a beer with me at Power Morphicon. All right, you're on. 
in all seriousness, thanks so much for doing this and making these videos and having me on for this part of it. This series has been really informative and educational. In fact, I've picked up already two or three pieces of information that I genuinely did not know to make this not only my first Power Morphicon, but my first major trip ever really so much easier. Your channel was already awesome with all the Ranger news and info that you get out there, the awesome videos you make, and this informative series is just all the better. Thank you guys so much for watching this. This has been a blast. Thank you so much to Sean, Orange Ranger, uh, basically put all this together and I just gotta be my fun wacky self and present some information. Thanks so much, buddy. This was a blast. I cannot wait to see a PMC. And for everybody who watched, I hope you got a laugh at it. I hope you learned a little bit about what to go into for Power Morphicon. Any questions or whatever, let us know in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out. And if you see us, don't pop these things in our ears, please. I'm not gonna be able to hear for a week. Yeah, not a good idea. Little known fact about us internet reviewers and journalists, sensitive hearing. On behalf of Ranger Liz and Orange Ranger Videos, thank you guys so much for watching Blow Your Dough, your favorite Ranger trivia show. And if you guys really like this, let us know. Maybe we'll be silly and do something like this again. I'm all up for collabs, buddy. I will see you guys at Power Morphicon. Big hugs and beer for all. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you at the next video. Echoing what Ranger Liz said, this was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun putting this together. I've gotten some real laughs just interacting with the footage that Liz provided me and putting this together. Uh, once again, Liz, those videos are really informative and it's awesome of you to put that together to let us rookies uh, know some things going in. I appreciate you heroes as always for watching and thank you so much for your views and your support. And if you see Liz and or myself at Power Morphicon, please feel free to come up, say hello. It's awesome to be recognized, to be honest, and just uh, looking forward to hanging out with a lot of cool people at Power Morphicon and just enjoying that entire experience. So we will see you guys next time. And as always, may the power protect you. Have a great PMC, guys. Woo! Um, Liz, one of those papers flew all the way over here. I don't even know how that's possible. Liz? Liz?